Hello and welcome to News Pulse. I'm Esther. These are the headlines. Nagaland Chief Minister Nifu Rio on Monday said that the music industry is not only for leisure and not only for singing among themselves or just singing in a function, but music has huge business, much potential and opportunities for which youth of Nagaland have to excel in. A scuffle broke out between the workers of the Bhartiya Janata Party and Trinamool Congress in Mamta Banerjee's stronghold, Bhavanipur, where voting for Bipol will be held on September 30th. According to reports, West Bengal BJP Chief Dilip Ghosh's cavalcade was attacked during a campaign by the TMC activists. Soon after quitting the Congress, former Chief Minister of Goa and senior le leader Lu Louis Zinho Filero said Mamta Banerjee is the only leader in the country who has the ability to challenge the ruling government at the centre. Fifteen archers from Nagaland are currently undergoing training at the IG Stadium in Kohima to participate in the 40th Sahara Senior National Archery Championship scheduled to be held next month at Jharkhand. Now for the news and details. In commemoration of World Tourism Day, the Department of Tourism, Government of Nagaland, celebrated the day in a solemn program at the Conference Hall of the Directorate of Tourism under this year's theme, Tourism for Inclusive Growth. During the program, Commissioner and Secretary of Tourism Kito Zimomi exhorted the gathering and the attendees while also thanking the Chief Minister of Nagaland and Advisor Tourism for their continuous effort in promoting tourism in the state. The event also had two tour guides, Kevi Keso Savino and Kenny Vito Sophie, who shared their experiences that they have had over the years. The yearly note from the Secretary General of the United Nations, Antonio Guterres, was also read by Ajanio Bello. Nagaland's Chief Minister Nifu Rio today handed over Casio Laser LED hybrid projectors to Task Force for Music and Arts, Empaneled Music Institute, Tafma District Partners and selected community-based NGOs. The project is an initiative of Casio India CSR program Gyan Ki Roshni or Light of Knowledge. Handing over the projectors at a function held at CM's Banquet Hall, Rio said that Casio India has been a long-time friend and partner to Nagaland's music industry and today Casio has taken another positive step to support and power the music institutions and musicians at the grassroots by donating laser hybrid projectors to Nagaland under their CSR program. Rio placed on record his appreciation and support for their future endeavours in the state. Despite the many challenges faced by the music fraternity due to the pandemic, he said that Tafma stood strong and continues to inspire Nagaland through their creative initiatives. The Chief Minister said that the state government has instituted Music Task Force in 2003 to promote music as an industry and to further encourage the artistic and creative pursuit of the youth in fashion, dances, crafts, literature, fine arts and more. MTF was rebranded to Tafma in 2019. And since government, state government had uh, declared that music as an industry, so music industry is not only for leisure, music has huge business, but you have to accept that casual way of learning music and singing will not be. Music has so much competition, but so much potential, so much opportunities. So we should give that opportunity to our children. This Casio India giving this hundred is a hybrid project.
projected. I hope those recipients will make good use of the projectors and then enlighten the people, make our children professionals and continue to promote and empower the youth at the grassroots level. The Chief Minister also lauded the leadership of TAFMA for consistently building networks and raising partnership across the country and globe. Through TAFMA, Naglen has partners in Latvia, Russia and USA today. He said that TAFMA has recently signed an MOU with Asia Music Connect and plans are on to organize the Asia Music Summit soon. On the initiative of initiative of Dr. A. R. Rahman's KM Music Conservatory in Nagaland, the Chief Minister maintained that Rahman registered happiness over the talented Naga youth, thereby by sponsoring musicians, particularly underprivileged children. Rio said that the music industry is not only for leisure, not only for singing among themselves or just singing in a function, but music has huge business, much potential and opportunities for which youth of Nagaland have to excel in. Stating that music really brings joy and happiness, he stressed on the need to put a concerted effort and venture to make Nagaland a center of music. Further, Rio assured fullest support to the youth and particularly the musicians to grow and excel. Sit-in protests are held at several places in and around Imphal at Ramgailong, Namthanlong, Guigailong, Tarung, Naikanlong, Tharon, Dim Dai Jang, Nam Thang Long, Lung Dai Jang, Major Kul and other places in protest against the killing of former Ziliang Rung Paudi Assam Manipur Naglan President Atwan Abon Mai after he was abducted by some unidentified persons in Tamen Long district on Wednesday. Several organizations and individuals in Manipur while condemning the act demanded that the culprits be identified and befitting action be taken by the government. Masih dah dim dai zang women society na organise tau raga masih ni mipa masih sit in protest dek koy pamsa bni. Malam di satu bulan September ke dead twenty two two thousand twenty one dah abon abon mai aton abon mai buhat pegi mihat tu ya dia hai dina koy si pamsa bni. Masih koy women society ke taraf dek koy strongly condemn tau eh hai masih express tau nombor ke damak tak masih ni sit in protest dek pamsa bni. Adegi koy nasu Masih ki mihat sih ki justice se atau bermatam da kutuk piu hai na media ki kutang kutang da hai zaman ni. While condemning the incident, member of parliament Lor Ho Fose said such cowardly acts of violence are uncalled for in the civilized modern society. We have suffered it much and should not allow hatred and violence to come back to our people. I share the pain and loss of the Ziliang Rung pe people and appeal to maintain peace and harmony in this difficult times. My prayers are with the family and the community, he stated. The Coordinating Committee on Manipur Integrity, Kang Lai Pak Students Association, Ziliang Rong Civil Society organizations consisting of Ziliang Rong Paudi AMN, Ziliang Rong Paudi State Units, All Ziliang Rong Students Union and Ziliang Rong Youth Front, Naga Women's Union, Tameng Long Concerned People's Forum and several organizations have also condemned the murder and demanded the arrest of those involved and delivered justice at the earliest. A scuffle broke out between the workers of the Bharatiya Janata Party and Trinamool Congress in Mamta Banerjee's stronghold, Babanipur, where voting for Bipol will be held on September 30th. According to reports, West Bengal BJP Chief Dilip Ghosh's cavalcade was attacked during a campaign by the TMC activists. Meanwhile, the Election Commission has sought a report from the state government over Babanipur ruckus today. The commission has asked the Bengal government to submit the report by evening. Senior BJP leader and IT cell head Amit Malviya said that the Saffron Party's massive outreach in Babanipur have unnerved the TMC. 
He said that attempts are being made to stop leaders from campaigning. Today is the last day of campaigning in Bhavanipur. The bipol will be held on September 30th, along with the elections to Samserganj and Dhangipur seats in Murshidabad district, where polling could not be held during the eight-phase assembly election held earlier this year. Banerjee, a resident of Bam Babanipur needs to win in order to hold on to her office. She has contested from Babanipur in the past two assembly elections since 2011. Soon after quitting the Congress, former Chief Minister of Goa and senior leader Luizeno Filero said Mamta Banerjee is the only leader in the country who has the ability to challenge the ruling government at the center. MS is likely to join Trinamul Congress. It is set back for the Congress ad of assembly polls due in early next year. He has submitted his resignation as an MLA to the Speaker of Goa Assembly. While All India Congress Committee in charge of Goa Dinesh Gundu Rao confirmed to NI that Felera has also given resignation from the primary membership of the party too. Currently, Congress has only five MLAs including Felerio out of the 40-member Goa Assembly. Felerio is in touch with the leadership of the Trinamul Congress. Just a few days ago, Derek O'Brien visited Goa. He had announced that TMC will fight Goa Assembly polls and will declare chief ministerial phase also. Felerio's press conference is scheduled for later in the evening today. Ahead of his media address, Felerio at his residence while addressing his supporters said, Mamta Banerjee is the only leader who is fighting on the street for people. She is the only leader who can challenge the ruling government at the center and for this cause, we need to support her. This can be seen as an informal announcement of inclination towards the TMC. Although according to Felerio close sources, he will be joining the party in Kolkata. Kata. The exit of Filerio is a big blow to the Congress in Goa. He was recently appointed as the chairman of the Election Coordination Committee for Goa Assembly polls and was AICC in charge of the northeastern states. Congress party is struggling to get into power in Goa for the last 10 years and after Filerio, only four MLAs will be left with the party who had emerged as the single largest party in the last Assembly polls held in 2017. The Naga Cucumber was recently granted the GI tag from Nagaland and officially certified on September 14. However, according to reports, the registration entity has been given to Northeastern Regional Agricultural Marketing Corporation Limited or Niramac based in Guwahati. Not only has the Naga Cucumber been registered under this entity, but the Naga Tree Tomato has also been registered under Niramac. Does this mean we have given our rights of our own unique products due to the incapability of the concerned department? To explain more on this, we have the Horticulture Director R. Ilithang Lotha. Hello, sir. Welcome to Hornbill TV. Thanks for speaking with us. Okay. Uh, sir, I, I just wanted to start with this. Uh, how come Nira Mac has got the sole uh, registration for both Naga tree tomato and the Naga cucumber? Uh, okay, my name is like this. Uh, this it's not because of the capability of the Department of Horticulture uh, in Nagaland, but uh, uh, it has been applied to Niraman okay. for GI registration. Okay. And the whole ownership belongs to the Nagaland. It is not. It, it doesn't give any ownership to uh, Niraman, but the, the, the Nagaland state holds, holds the ownership of this uh, GI backdrop. Okay. Not that we have given away the ownership. The ownership is with us. All right. They have only facilitated uh, facilitated the department okay. and the application to the appropriate authority for registration. So it doesn't mean that uh, we have given away the uh, ownership. Ownership is ours. Okay. Yeah. So then why not uh, register with the government of Nagaland itself, like how the Naga King Chili and uh, the Chakasang so Shawl has been registered with Naga entities? But why uh, these two have been with Niramak? Well, it is. Uh, there is a certain general, it is also with an agency appropriation uh -huh. that, uh, that uh, facilitates registration of all these indigenous groups, not only of Nagaland, but also from other states as well. So uh, it is only facilitated in the full application on behalf of the government, uh, government of Nagaland. Mm -hmm. And uh, that, that ownership is with Nagaland. It is ownership doesn't give to Miramar. They have only facilitated it. So, okay. Mm. Yeah. But what was the reason behind it? Why Niramak? Uh, why not government of Nagaland? Uh, is there some monetary issue or some time constraint issue? What was it? 
Uh, no, it is not, not because of monetary looking uh, uh, effect. Uh, Myanmar, uh, they, they, they are establishing, facilitating mm-hmm. uh, registration of this uh, indigenous group with the authority. So it is because of that only they have applied on behalf of the government of Nagaland. Okay. So, That's all for News Pulse. I'm Esther. Keep watching Hornbill TV.